Alright guys, so um, for leads on the album, I'm using a Jackson Rhodes, which is a slightly custom, um, 24 frets, two humbuckers. It's um, finished in black and candy purple. It's probably, I don't think the camera does it quite the justice it should, but it looks pretty awesome. Got a little Orpheus logo in there, because, you know, it's what I like to do. <laughs> and um, Seema Duncan pickups, just a distortion in the bridge and a 59 in the front. Um, really good for lead work. I mean, it just, it plays like butter. is one of the smoothest guitars I've ever played, and... Yeah, just works really well for leads. Um, it was a painted neck originally. I did have it as a painted neck, but at one of our shows, Keswick landed on my guitar and it swung up, cracked me in the head, and then cracked the headstock. <laughs> you probably you can't see it now because Dan Ralph, our guitar tech and good friend from Nabris, did a fucking amazing job fixing that up. So you can't really tell at all. But um, he thought it'd be a good idea to leave it um a natural with an oiled finish on the neck, and I, I can tell you now, just it does play that much better than when it was painted and. Yeah, that's why I'm using this guy for leads. It just plays awesomely well and sounds awesome. So, let's see how it goes. Alright, so we're doing bass striking today with Milky. Woo! Milky, what are we using? We're using uh, Fender Jazz 5 string. Woo! Um, we're using 135 to 55 gauge strings. Steak. Oh, it's nice and fat. Mm. Mm. Um, the extra string gauge, you usually use 125 or one, yeah, 125. But um, for tuning stability and recording, the 135 is just ridiculously awesome. Sounds a bit more heavy. Yeah, play something, just fucking, I don't know, anything. Just play an open B, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Fender Jazz. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Man.